the four levels of authority. And I've been uh, studying this recently and, and getting acquainted with it. It's quite inspirational. I, I, I like it a lot. It makes a lot of sense, especially with how iCodes does things here. So there's four levels of authority. The first level is the highest, being the author, okay? Root word, auctor, all right? Who is the author? What is an author? Can someone come off mute and tell me what is an author? Uh-oh, okay, okay. So we got creator, love it. Originator, there you go. Okay, so I came up with an idea to start a YouTube channel. So therefore, I'm the author of Denzel Napoleon Rodriguez. You can look that up on YouTube. You'll see this guy right? I'm the author. Okay. Because I'm the author of that YouTube channel, I have what is called authority. When they ask, who is that guy? When they ask, how did you do that? When they ask, who wrote that book? I have the authority because I'm the author to say and sell and promote and market what it is that I'm doing. And because I have the authority, because I'm the author I'm authorized, that's the next level, authorized or authorization. I have authorization to receive the money. I have the authority to receive the money. I'm the originator, the creator of that idea. So I can receive the money, which then leads us also in the level of authorizes because I have authority to sell the book, to promote the YouTube channel that I'm, that I'm building. I can also authorize other people. Uh-oh, here comes one of the leverages of iCovest. Because you went through iCovest Academy, right? You got authorized to become an iCovester. Uh-oh. And now that you're authorized as an iCovester, and because you did three or more CPOs, you're now authorized as an ambassador because you went through the ambassador training. So you got authorization there to do CPOs, maybe some CNAs. And it's just this constant level of receiving authority. It's how the kingdom works through authority. It's a top down approach. Author is God authorizing his sons, his daughters, giving them authority. Uh oh, dominion. Uh oh, dominance, rulership over a land territory, jurisdiction, oh boy, to now have authorization to authorize others. And your final level is authentic because there's only one Nicholas Gonzalez, because there's only one Ollie Patterson, he's going to be authentic in how he shares what it is that he's been authorized to deliver through his authority from his author, creator, manufacturer. Oh my goodness. So my closing here is if you would just have a conversation with your author being the creator, your manufacturer, if you would just have after running through your time management to see where your hours are going after figuring out how much time I'm going to spend giving not only to people, but maybe to my author to discover what it is that I have authority over. And within seven seconds, literally within seven seconds, what would take you seven years to do on your own, because you're stubborn, getting in the kingdom within seven seconds, you can receive the authority that you need to then be authorized, to then authentically preach, share, market, sell the message that it is that you've been authorized with your authority to do. Oh my goodness. Anybody, is this landing for anybody? Is this good stuff? Cool. All right. So with that being said, uh, that's my closing right there. Gave you the formula of time management. This is one rule, two rules, three rules that I have. Personally, I, I take the 10,000 hour rule, better known beats best. So I'm, it's not that I'm first trying to become an expert to make all this money. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going out in the marketplace today because I know who my author is. And with, like I said, within seven seconds, I received authority to move forward because I'm stepping into it. I've been given the gift. That's, that's the grace. I've been given the dominion, the authority over the territory. Now I just need to become, become literally means work. Well, we're already doing that. And instead of me 
wasting time, I'm going to reroute the waste, the extra sleeping I'm doing, okay? All this waste stuff, I'm going to reroute that to not work, but becoming. Work means to become who you are. So now I just redefine the word work for you so you're no longer afraid of work. You shouldn't be because work is all about becoming who you are. Uh-oh, becoming a what? Oh my God. A person with experience, expert, who is authorized. Oh my goodness, right? And then we just take the multiple of 10, preferably. It's such a big goal that again, even if you fail miserably, like my goal in 2020 was to make 2.8 million because in 2019, I made 283,000. I failed miserably. I only made 464,000 in the midst of a pandemic. Oh my goodness, I'm not upset about that. I pull myself together and set the goal again for the following year and for the following year and for the following year. And hey, you know, maybe in about seven years or less, I should be able to generate that at least in one year. If not in those seven years, I should definitely accumulate that. Nobody's upset. Now it's a matter of managing that with, with, I see. And you just redo the formula over and over again. So I'm like, okay, how can I make $3.3 million with X amount of hours in a year? If I'm only charging 247 an hour. Okay. So that means I have to maybe increase my prices or I need to introduce group coaching so I can have to serve a multitude of people or, or maybe I get hired to speak in front of 250 people, 150 people and charge just to be there X amount of dollars. I do X amount of those per year. You see how you just run the math in your business, whether you're a nurse, you're a doctor, you're a firefighter. It, it doesn't matter what industry you're in, what gift you have, run the numbers and see what plays out. And you say, oh, okay. So I just need to dedicate X amount of hours to that. So I have to stop watching The Walking Dead. I have to stop watching Outlander, uh, Game of Thrones. I have to stop watching Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus. You know, I gotta stop watching the Marvel movies. All right, that's a small sacrifice. I need to, you know, drop the porn. I gotta drop, you know, the drinking late at night. Cause when I go to the bar, that wastes two hours. So I gotta, I gotta stop hanging out with the boys because the boys isn't making me money. I gotta stop hanging out with the girls because the girls are taking my money. Oh my goodness. So you run the numbers. Oh wait, I can't hang out with my high school friends because they're not on this iCovest mindset. I, I can't hang out with Joe Blow down the block because he's always complaining about his wife. And you know, this one down the block's always complaining about the husband. Yeah, as a kingdom woman, I can't I can't be around other women that complain about their husbands. I, I, I can't, that's messing up my mindset. You see where I'm going with that? So you're evaluating, oh my goodness, all this free time that you can recapture, right? Talk about recapturing your expenditures. What about recapturing your time? And then applying that here at IcoVest where there's nothing but profit to be made here. Nothing but profit and abundance and glory and authority to be given here, like freely. Like it's amazing the amount of authority. This is just personal experience coming into Icovest, the the ministry, God himself, we want that guy. How many of you are in this room don't realize how much the ministry wants you, how much God wants you, but you're holding back. Within within four months, look look what's happening. I, I was a nobody four months ago and, and I'm in Icovest now creating, we're creating a course on the back end. We're doing totally AP2, now talking AP3 getting involved in all the mix, all the, all the, the conversations on the back ends, behind the scenes, in front of the scenes. Look how much time, four months. Look what we've been able to do so far together. What if everybody in here, the 30 some odd people, 30, 31, I think it was like 32 earlier, start really like, okay, we need to manage our time here. Okay. I'm going to just dedicate to geopolitics because that's what I'm an expert in, or I'm going to dedicate to finance because that's my department. I'm going to dedicate to hospitality, customer service. I'm going to dedicate to the branding of Icovest, help, help the message get more clear to everyone, right? Daniel can't do it all by himself. Okay. A lot of other people got to get involved here. Okay. We got to get this going.
and my formula, boom, right here, time management. Get it going. 